Hello and welcome, my name is Depolis Phantom. In this video, I'll be covering the settings that you should change in Call of Duty so that you can play better. If you enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell icon to get notified about any new videos released. You can also catch me streaming on Mixer, links in the description below. Let's get into it. First of all, what you need to do is from your main screen, click on options and go over to your controller tab. The BR button layout I've got as tactical. You don't have to use it, but I do like it because it means that I can press my right analog stick to crouch and it just means that I can jump out of cover a lot quicker. I know a lot of my friends have changed over to this layout and it's helped their gameplay become even better because they can dodge out of danger when they need to. The first thing that I would say is one of the biggest settings that came into the game was dead zone. I strongly recommend that if there is a player or you yourself that is struggling with aiming accurately is to play around with the dead zone setting it adjusts the dead zone that represents the inner range in which stick input will not be registered so what that means is if you are moving your analog stick too much and it starts moving then if you play around with your dead zone it means that you need to move your analog stick a little bit more for it to register a movement so it means that you'll become more accurate when you're just slightly moving your analog stick so when you're in battles at close range you won't see your aim just going to the left and to the right of the enemy and you feel that you've shot 20 bullets but not one has hit so play around with dead zone it will definitely help your gameplay by default it's on 005 you can see that i've changed mine to 006 and i feel that that's actually help me be a little bit more accurate i'm running a quite high sensitivity but keep in mind that i am running a control freak on my right analog stick if you don't have control freaks you'd probably see my sensitivity go down to maybe a nine but because i've got control freaks i'm on a 15 so it allows me to have a little bit better movement speed i would definitely play around with your ads sensitivity multiplier for your low zoom and your high zoom your low zoom of course is when you're using red dots and anything less than a 3.2 25 multiplier scoped zoom so it means that once you're ads you get that multiplier of 1.2 on your sensitivity i did have these ramped up all the way to two at one point but i found that i was losing some really really easy one-on-one -on -one shoot offs and i min maxed my settings to make them feel good for me so my best advice here to people who are looking at getting better at aiming is to play around with these settings go into private matches against some bots and change your sensitivity be drastic just change it right up to the opposite spectrum of where you are and see what that feels like because then you get a feel for what the difference will be and then change it down to fit your circumstance everyone's different and you need to make sure that you min max your settings to the way you play straight down when i go to weapons my aim assist is standard um, I choose to use double tap ADS for the mount function in the game I found it difficult to get used to mounting when I first came to the game and I found that just double tapping ADS for me was the best way to mount because I didn't always want to mount I've chosen to use contextual tap as my use reload behavior because I found that when I was playing Warzone it was a lot better for me to pick up and loot quicker it does have its disadvantages though like you could just randomly fall out of a helicopter when you're flying so you've got to make sure that if you want to reload whilst in a vehicle you hold down the reload button and especially when you're in battles and you're running over people's guns if you do tap it you will just pick up a random weapon or whatever's around those dead bodies that you're walking over so you've just got to get used to the whole thing of holding it to reload which can affect you in certain ways if you're used to just tapping which which i was i've chosen to have depleted ammo switch as disabled because sometimes when my ammo is depleted i want to reload that gun myself for war zone specifically i've chosen to disable my parachute auto deploy just because i feel that you can get closer to the ground and then shoot your parachute so it means that you can land quicker than your enemies if you've disabled it i've disabled automatic sprint because I found that it was glitching a lot. It simply just was not a clean experience for me when I had automatic sprint on and let alone automatic tactical sprint. If you go into tactical sprint, your ADS is not gonna be ready. And if someone comes around the corner and you're tactical sprinting, you're simply gonna lose that gunfight. So I don't like losing my gunfights. And 
automatic sprint was great and I used it for a long long time but what I found was it was hard to notice when I was sprinting and not sprinting and when I did want to sprint and it wasn't sprinting it just didn't want to sprint so I just got used to sprinting manually again and it's been great for my gameplay next head over to the general tab and what I want to show you here is a bunch of settings that will just improve things graphically for you when you're playing the first thing is to just set your film grain to zero it means that the image on the left as you can see is a lot more clearer than the image on the right so do yourself a favor and set your film grain to zero next thing what you want to do is you want to go down to world motion blur as you can see if you disable world motion blur your screen won't blur when you're moving your gun like that means you can see enemies i don't know why this is in the game but this is just just it obviously they put it in a game to make it a little bit more realistic and make things feel more real because the world i guess does blur when you move quickly to one way but not that bad so next thing is turn off your weapon motion blur so your weapon doesn't blur again giving you a cleaner user experience when you're playing the game making your reactions sharper so that you can see things in front of you quicker then head down to your mini map shape i've chosen to use the square because it means you can see more on the map and your mini map rotation should be enabled i did give disable to go for a while and it meant that i <laughs> logically for me it just didn't work i kept finding it really hard to find out where the enemies were on the map so do yourself a favor and find what is helpful for you but i found the square and the enabled options here the best and that's pretty much it so i hope you enjoyed the video i really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel if you have any questions let me know in the comments to connect with my socials see the links in the descriptions you can catch me on mixer if you want to see me stream see you next time peace